October 2023, Microsoft released latest connectors such as Excel Online for Business, Word Online for Business, OneNote for Business, and Microsoft Teams to Power Automate for Desktop. In the upcoming sessions, we are going to learn how to integrate Microsoft Teams with Power Automate for Desktop. Before that, what is Microsoft Teams? Microsoft Teams is a cloud-based team collaboration software that is part of the Microsoft 365 and Office 365 suite of applications. The core capabilities in Microsoft Teams includes business messaging, calling, video meeting, and file sharing. Microsoft Teams is the ultimate messaging app for the organization, which is a workspace for real-time collaboration and communication, meetings, file and app sharing, and even occasional emojis. With the Microsoft Teams, we can collaborate more effectively with a faster, simpler, smarter, and more flexible with team members, which are all in one place. All right, what are the Microsoft Teams key features? Microsoft Teams is the hub of team collaboration in Microsoft 365 and Office 365. The platform has several features to help teams of employees to communicate and collaborate. Some of the key features are messaging chart, calling, video meetings, screen sharing, calendar, file sharing, webinars, and external collaboration. Let me explain you one by one about these features. First one, messaging chart. As its core, Teams is a chart-based collaborative workspace that features group and individual messaging with threaded and persistent conversations. Users can evaluate a group or one-to-one -one chart to a voice or video call. Like other messaging services, Microsoft Team Messages can incorporate emojis and graphics interchange format, that is, GIFs format. Next one, calling. Microsoft Teams provides cloud-based telephony for voice calling. With the Teams app, user can make voice over IP, that is, VOIP, calls between Teams clients. Next one, video meetings. In addition to the audio-only calls, user can conduct virtual meetings amid the COVID-19 pandemic and work from home direct with video conference, adoption, sold as the people collaborate remotely. Teams offer some key video conference features such as customized virtual background, meeting recordings, transcription, whiteboarding, and breakout rooms. The whiteboarding feature in Microsoft Teams can help users collaborate on visual elements. Next one, screen sharing. This is the world feature, but critical capability is a common feature among the team collaboration tools. As the name implies, screen sharing enables users to share their desktop screens, including files, in real time during the team calls or video meeting. Next one, calendar. Microsoft Teams, like Microsoft Outlook email, having the features of extensive calendaring so users can keep track of their work week, meetings, and other daily appointments. The Outlook and the team calendars are tightly integrated. Next one, file sharing. In this document management feature, remote teams can store, share, and edit the files within the Microsoft Teams. Users can collaborate on the same document in real time within the Microsoft Teams. Next one, webinars. Microsoft Teams supports interactive meeting and webinars for up to 1,000 attendees. Microsoft Teams webinars can accommodate 10,000 people in a view-only broadcast. Larger broadcasts of 20,000 people are available throughout the end of 2021 to accommodate higher number of remote works during the pandemic. In 2022, that number dropped to 10,000.
and also attendee reporting show who attended the webinar and how long they have attended the webinar by using webinars feature last but not least we are having external collaboration the guest access feature in microsoft teams enables user to invite people outside the organization to join internal channels for messaging meeting file sharing this capability helps to facilitate business to business project management all right how can we go ahead and download install microsoft teams to download microsoft teams let's go to the browser and then i'm going to give the url over here that is https colon www.microsoft.com slash en hyphen in slash microsoft teams slash download app there you can see once you will go to that url there you will find the option to download microsoft teams for windows desktop microsoft teams is free available for desktop devices such as windows 11 windows 10 mac and the web browser you can also open this microsoft teams in the browser for the charts to communicate and files to share across the team now to download the microsoft team for desktop you can see over here team for home that is you can organize your life and communicate in all in one place you can download it from here for the home purpose if you're going to use the teams for work or school in that case to easily communicate with the customers and the employees you're going to download the teams from here to download the teams we are going to click on this option download the new app there you can see i'm having three options over here one is download for windows that is 64 bit and 32 bit and also you can find download for arm 64 let me download windows for 64 which is my system is windows 64 bit let me click on that once the download has completed let me go to the location where it has been downloaded once you click on the exe file of the microsoft teams you will get microsoft teams for work or school i'm going to install teams and then i'm going to launch when it is ready let's click on install teams and it is taking a time to install the required frameworks in the particular system. Once the installation has completed successfully, it will launch Microsoft Teams. Now, you can pick your accounts over here or you can create your own account to log in into the Microsoft Teams. I'm going to create or use another account. And then I'm going to give my work or school account over here. And then I'm going to click on next. And then I will provide my password to log in into the Microsoft Teams by clicking on sign in. All right. Now we have successfully logged in into the Microsoft Teams that is work or school account. Now we can go ahead and we can do the business messaging or calling or video meetings along with file sharing. I hope you understand what is Microsoft Teams and what are the Microsoft Teams key features. And also we have seen how to download and install Microsoft Teams in our local system. In the upcoming sessions, we will learn how to work with these actions that is Microsoft Teams actions one by one in detail all right let's get started